Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. This is episode 10 and today we start finally with City Blocks. Yeah, we are right at the end of the last episode. Um, I only started research and I think we're gonna continue this a little further because we need to reach this point here and for that we need more science packs. This one here is the next and I think one of the major ones we need. Yeah, we also need this one here, so let's do that. Perfect. Yeah, and today I want to start with city blocks while the research is running in the background. And for that I grabbed a blueprint string and it's nothing special and I could replicate this one fairly easy. But I want to grab this one and I want to give out a shout out. Because <clears throat> as I mentioned in the last episode, there is one YouTuber that is pushing the city blocks idea a bit further more than others. And so I want to mention him and also want to link a video he made about city blocks in general. And his name is Nilaus and the link will be in the description below where he talks about the general idea about of city blocks and stuff. And so he provided in this video the string for this blueprint block. And in here we have the general measuring and alignment. Then we have city blocks um, without anything in it. We have a blueprint for solars and some train blueprints and also here pavement and stuff. And I don't want to use them. <laughs> um, we're gonna make our own versions of stations. They are will look like that, but a bit different. Same goes for the intersections, for the curves, and all that stuff. And I also want to design the looks of them a bit different, mostly because I don't want to copy over everything. But this blueprint here is the important one, because as you can see, it's um, power poles. Robot ports and radars, and also um, there are um, the cables for the circuit network already already made, and this is basically one city block. So what we're gonna need to do now is simply place the first city block and then start from this point. And I want to do another thing uh, with this, because there is one thing with blueprints in general. Let's put this here. We can uh, align blueprints. So what we can do is setting a grid size, and the grid size is always 100 by 100 tiles. So, and now what we can also do is set an absolute reference point. And this is the important one. We want this reference point to be in the middle. Because the thing is, with this reference point, when it's set right, it will snap. As you can see now, it's snapping on one reference point. And when the reference point is not in the middle, rotating will not work completely. So we need to work this one a bit more out. So I think I need to move the reference point little more in oh no now I realize there is no way that this reference point will perfectly fit 
because it's oh no no the reference point will fit I only need to find the real one but it's not that easy actually and I hate that fact actually Maybe, maybe like this. Yep, this is the one. Now the only thing that is changing are the radars. And everything else is in exact the same position. And this is now aligned to the global grid pattern. And this one is nothing I can change and so what that means is now that I have aligned this one and when I align now the city blocks every pattern can be rotated on the global grid and this will give me the option to use this grid alignment tool in a working and functioning way so without further ado I think it's time to place our first city block and as is actually nice the fact that I can put our bus in the city block for the moment because the bus is basically already on the right points but everything else needs to move sadly so I think we're gonna put out a blueprint here for the first city block and yeah, those are the first four city blocks. And I think I don't be able to do that or that. So this is the first city block. And now it's time to build the city block. And I'm perfectly prepared without any power poles. Oh, that's just perfect. This is preparation in its grand and greatest scale of all this is preparation goody style yeah but I think another point of what is a city block should be at least somewhat clear or at least somewhat understandable at least I hope so. And what we're gonna do now is slowly but surely start integrating everything in city blocks. And when I say everything I need, I mean everything. Every last bit of the base is going in a city block. And that also means the bus will disappear slowly but surely. So, now let's grab some stuff out of here. We're gonna need power poles. Power poles, power poles, power poles. Right here. Give me some of those precious, nice looking power poles. Perfect. And I think we're gonna start top down and that means I'm gonna move oh no top down is actually not the greatest idea I ever had because we actually need to do it in exactly exactly the opposite we need to start bottom down and what that means is simply that I need to start I need to start with moving the smelting columns and after putting in the smelting columns in the city block I'm gonna move the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing so okay I don't have radars but that's not that important right now the thing I'm doing now is simply putting a 
factory music is kind of intriguing also worrisome in a, in a way I had this this moment of oh god no what will happen now are they coming for me are biters want to eat me because this is also a realization I had we are in a pretty deserty area and that means that biters will be more hostile to us than normal because there are no trees to eat up our pollution and this is the point I fairly forgot when I created this map seed because my only thinking at that point was yeah well trees are the worst and I had to remove trees for the factory to expand so yeah let's leave out the trees but that also means that biters are a bit more of a problem and this will hurt us in the later game but not right now because hopefully we are not producing this much pollution as of right now so removing a few more trees is uh, yeah all of the game so and what also that means is I think we are gonna need to remove every single rail we build as of now and this is actually the worst part of my decision moving to city blocks but I know that I will regret not doing it in the later run and when the base is more constructed than now it will be just a bigger task and more soul crushing to remove even more because in the long run me that means that I also need to remove the big plastic production we built two episodes ago and that is actually the saddest part of all but also I realized that maybe this production is just a bit too big and that is something when it comes to me building stuff that I literally every single time build stuff too big but anyway this is basically now our life placing down blueprints like damn robots and this brings me to the next point we want to have robots fairly soon because we need them because them they are the greatest invention of earth and we are at the point that we have most of the stuff we need to produce robots so robots will come fairly soon because now we have plastic we have basically everything we need for robots but nicest thing about city blocks is actually the look of the power poles and here yeah, I I just love them I love when I see my my uh, forms in a geometrical order and everything is looking straight and ordered and fine and that's just the greatest thing so now we have this one here just let's finish up this city block here and I also wasted most of the power poles we grabbed so let's go over here and those two here should connect up the city block entirely perfect now we only need those few power poles here left and I don't have any left this is not a great thing but I should be able to craft at least some more so let's do that
and connect up this one here. Perfect. So, this one here is... Uh, let's do the last one. Because everything else of this city block is done. Also, that means that I now can move this one just right here. Because we're gonna need this blueprint way, way more. And also, the first two city blocks done and dusted. So, now, what we're gonna do next is basically removing every track and moving them in here. Because I want to start building the smelting columns. And I think we're gonna start with a three array here. And for that we need a bit more of city blocks and I think this is actually now one of the few points I gonna make a cut and just jump after putting down more of those city blocks because I don't feel like it's a good idea to show you around camera placing down those silly city blocks over and over and over and over again. But I'm gonna put down the blueprint so also gonna do that. And also pretty much the city blocks I want to place now. And the good thing is we have also here this big iron field. We're gonna tap and I think, no, not gonna use that right now. But yeah, I'm gonna remove the rails here, put in those city blocks and then we should be back. And we are done. That took not that long and yeah I removed the rail part here and part of those intersections. We're gonna remove more of the rails soonish but right now it's not really needed for the expansion so let's start up here. And the first thing is actually the same thing we did in episode one is building a smelting column and yeah so we can remove those here hopefully relatively soon. Same goes then later for the steel and for the stone bricks, but right now it's not that important. And yeah, I also connected quickly up here the science productions, so we are back in business when it comes to science. And yeah, now it's time to do some work here. And I think more important than the rails, um, no, more important than the smelting columns itself are the rails. In that manner the sentence make much more sense. Yeah, so let's quickly run over and I think this one is a good one. Yeah, we can do it right here. Because now we need to s plan one really, really important part. And that is the part of how our stations and rail network will look like. So uh, let's start right here with some rails. And of course we plan for like a four-way intersection. Uh, no, not intersection. <coughs> what I'm talking about is actually starting this research queue here. Um, four lines to each way. And I think first of all we need to establish the border of the buildable space and how many tracks we can fill fit in. Okay, we could actually go six lanes, but that's not fitting and ridiculous and all that stuff. Uh, no, let's keep those in for the moment because now we are able to say what is the middle and it should be this one here and now let's build in this column here because I'm trying to do something like this 
a line of this one is good I think I need to move this one one over yes and now hopefully just in between let's try one two four one two three four and that is the same spacing so we have a power line here not really necessary but i want the line here point <coughs> so next thing is for the rails i don't want the rails to be exactly here at the corner so one more space here same goes for the thing here not completely there one more and that is actually the baseline those two here and then one space in between uh, no I need one more so we can connect those two just like this now I need to bring them right around the middle like this and this one here and now I realize we are missing the audio because I completely muted the game because I did this work with music and some YouTube videos I mean the in between removing of all those parts and uh yeah the background noises was a bit too much for me to just do brain less work and now I forgot to re enable the music or any sound. Right. Now bring this to the middle here. I need to remove this one here. And I think I don't will have the oh no, we have the inventory space for this one. Same goes for those and this rain line here. Please tell me I have space left. No, I haven't. I also need to remove this one here, preferably this one and this one as well. So pick up the coal here and also the coal up here. Good. So now we have the basic train line in. Now we need the stations. And I hope we can fit in three of those. This one would be a bit problematic. Need to do it here. Also here. So let's try to do something like this. Also we need to connect this one here, this one there, also this one just right here. Okay, that could work. Technically. Okay, and 
and now I'm going to do this one here. And I need to check that. If I'm copying this one, turning it around, yeah, that would fit. And that's the important part. So we can go there. This one is out of reach for this one. So we need the inner line to go to those outer ones. So we need actually a way to switch between those two lines. And I think we're gonna do that like here. And also like here. Just like this. And now we have the way to get into those. I want to get in here and also here. Now we can go from this line to this one, to this one, to this one. From this line to this one and that one. We can go from this line to those ones, but not to this one. So I would need also a connecting one. Oh god, this is looking really horrible. So... Okay, no, I'm not able to do that like this. What is about the possibility to go from here to there? Are we able to connect this one here as well? Yeah, we are. And now... Okay, can come from here to the here, can come from here, okay, this one checking. We can go down here and there, or here and there, and then those two lines are available. So only this one here is remaining, and we are able to get into this one here, but that's it curve to come to this one here is unable and that's okay because we can go here and then curve to go to this line and then we should be able to get in here yeah that's this is okay so the next thing for me is to grab this one here. Yes. Turn it around one time. Paste it just like this. Okay, this one is actually not intended to be there. Okay, big, big brain moment was, um, is able, but not the thing I want to do. Okay. So now let's try to do it from here. Want to remove this one. go like this like this like this 
this one here as well. So now we could be doing this or that. And come here. Now this is this line here. I think I need to connect this one straight down as well. Or which rail is that? <laughs> That's actually not that easy to see. Yeah, it's this one here. Okay. Now this one is also connected. Now also doing this. Also need this one here as well as a mirror. Yeah, that is okay. Now we need those lines to get back on the tracks. That should be easier. Hopefully. Let's grab this line first. Because I want to meet up with this one here. Perfect. Because I also want to be able to get out from this line here. Being able to get on the track back on the track. I think I don't need this inner one here. Yeah, that's a bit cleaner. And now, I want preferably meet those two here. Yes. Also want to be able to have a curve out here, like this. not able to go to this line but this should be able to go to this line yes Is this one here able to yes when i'm moving this one one more Yes, exactly like this. I need those two here to meet. Also, I need this one here to meet. And now I simply want to connect this one not able to do that like so don't want yeah that is not working did I connect it like here I want this line to be connected with Yeah, I'm not able to come to this one here as well. Could do something like this, but this looks horrible. <laughs> That's just look... It's looking wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, then I 
just this one is not available for trains coming from this side yeah That is actually not what I'd intend to 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 make. Could what if I'm moving this one one down? Am I able to fit those ones? Yes. Okay, what is now? Yeah, this one isn't looking that horrible so this would fit in a way not the best case but it could be worse so same goes for this thing here I want to connect Please remove those rails, thank you. This one here. We are able to go to this line down there. I'm able to go to this line there. Also want to be able to go down there. Nice. So this one is actually the better solution. Now copying over the part to here one more tile able to go here also able to go here and we're now able to go here Now connecting up those two here. And now also this one up here. Give me those please. Thank you. Okay. And now simply grab the whole thing here, put it down here, and we should be good. One too much, like this. Here and here. Also want to go here. Also want to go here. This one needs to continue there. This one needs to meet up here. This one needs connecting like so. Now only need to connect those straight up like this. And this is actually perfect and completely oversized big. But it's good, hopefully. And I also want to remove those from here. Yes. No, that one was one too much, I think. Because I won from this outer lane connection. Right. Yeah, that is actually what I want. 
now comes the difficult part. Signaling. Um, let's fix the station question first. I want right hand driving. So I need, let's say, the stations. I can put the stations just in the middle like this. Like this. So we put a normal signal just in front of the station. Like this. And I want another signal at the end of the station. Um, I think I should kind of mirror the fun. Just to be 100% accurate. So one here, one there, one there. Then grabbing this one, rotating that once, and putting this thing down. Perfectly fine. So now the same goes for this side. So now at least every station is its own block. That's part of the fun. Now I think we're gonna signal off those parts here. Again, copy it, rotate it, paste it down. Also, now chain signals. Like this. Maybe also one like this. It's not, yeah. Okay. I think this should be the same. But just check. Yeah, they all match up. So now we have also those pretty stupid big parts. Want to signal off this one here. Also on the entrance here, and on the middle part. Then I need a chain signal entering the whole fun. Also here. Now I want one to end this block here. One here, one there. Also one here. Okay, no, we don't put that here. But we're gonna put that right here, the entry part. Because I need to kind of mirror that thing completely. So we're also gonna put a signal here. And a signal here. 
Um, I also need signal here, signal here. the middle one signal here why was there one light filling on the ground that's interesting okay I should be able to cut off this part here perfect only need one here, also the middle one. On the same height, this one. This one should be... Yeah. Not the closest one, the second closest. This one here. And not, not in line. Need like this one here. This one should be fine and more or less mirrored. Right? Yeah. Looking good. Great. Now grab the whole part. Pasting it. And you're gonna see why in a moment. So let's place all of the signals here. Here, this one there, this one there, one here. Okay. I think this is also looking kind of good. Now I want to remove the stations. Like this. I maybe need to move the station one down. This one here. To be more in the middle. Would this look a bit better? Yeah, that would look A, a bit better, and I think it's B, better for us to exit, uh, to access. Yeah, let's, let's do that real quick. Should be E, yeah, and ugh. Yeah, the robot part is in the way. Do we need a robopod right here? I mean... Yes and no. Problem would be the robopod coverage. Because this one is covering right to this point. So we would need something here. I think what I could do is putting it one down, like so. I think that should be okay. Let's try that. We need you to connect here.
go here. Okay, now there's something wrong. I think I need one more. Okay. Now, of course, the same goes for this one here. Yes. One more in this direction. Now go here. Connect up this part here. Like this. That now removing the line here. And this one. One too much. Still perfect and there there you go this is that now the thing why I did it as I did is simply see this is completely fitting and when we turn it it's still completely the same So, now the same should go for copying the complete part. So, we do a blueprint from up here, grabbing those two lamps, to down here, also grabbing both lamps. And I think I'm gonna remove the radars completely, but the rest should be good. And now, we are perfectly fine. And also, I can grab this blueprint grid size 100 by 100 absolutely absolute reference point save that also bring the reference point right in the middle Should be this one. No, one too high. And we can do that. And also, see, only here's the signal, but with connecting here, also have signal on the other side as well. But if we would have put it on both sides, we have here double signal and that wouldn't work. But now, we can simply stamp down this one right here, right here, and right here, and put the furnace columns just in between. And I think we also need third one we do three smelting lines here and yeah I'm still a bit 
thinking because of the robo ports, but I think it should be okay. So we are heading a little bit late or a little bit long. So I think we're gonna end this episode right here. In between episodes, I'm gonna build up those three train stations in their big way. And in the next episode, we can build the smelting columns here and maybe also build connecting lines to connect those rail stations. But until then, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Factorio episode 10 and you're with me in the next episode. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other and I see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.